my next adventure took me up to Kelowna, BC for the uh, O'Brien dealer meeting. But it definitely wasn't without a hiccup on the way. I was so close to missing my connecting flight in Phoenix, I had to run between the flights. I was really lucky that I made that connection because it was actually Father's Day, the way that it worked out. And I had a three hour layover in Seattle where uh, my son and wife were, were waiting for me. So that was cool, you know, just to travel around the world all different parts and then to actually catch up with them to have lunch in an airport. Um, was just perfect and especially because it was Father's Day to get to see him that day. The flight into a Kelowna was absolutely amazing, you know, just flying over we were going on a wakeboarding trip, but flying over snow-covered mountains. And then the, uh, once we landed in Kelowna, we had about a two-hour drive. And even that drive, you know, just traveling up through the hills with all these huge big pine trees was just a, uh, it was a beautiful drive. We've just arrived at the houseboat capital of Canada here at Sycamoose. Must be the houseboat capital, it says it right there. So after a huge day of traveling, I made it up to Shushwab Lake. And not knowing what to expect, I got up there and just got to a, a marina with so many houseboats. You know, I've never seen so many houseboats in one place. And uh, of course, the boys from O'Brien up there had hooked it up. And the two biggest, most luxurious uh, party boats were there with O'Brien banners all over it. So we loaded up and, and headed out there for a couple of days. Marble Point, this is going to be our home for the next couple of days, so here we are. So the first morning we pretty much just chilled out, you know, just being in a place like that is just, it's just relaxing, so we just chilled out all morning and then lunchtime, after lunch we, uh, the, the water was still flat, so we got out there and had a set before the wind came up. So we're kind of getting cabin fever in the house, but there's only so much wakeboarding and hanging out you can do. So we decided to do something a little different and just go and find a bit of driftwood and see if we could ride it. So after scavenging the shores for a, uh, for a nice bit, I found my perfect piece of driftwood. If I was ever get a perfect bit of driftwood, this bit was it for sure. This is it. Oh, I think this bit's perfect. This is a go. If it works, it'll be my new pro model. What we call it, Driftwood by DW. So once I got up on this bit of Driftwood, it was kind of a funny feeling because I actually had control of it. I could get, uh, move it left and right and I cut outside the wake and then all I wanted to do is get it on the biggest whip possible. I wanted to get the bit of Driftwood going as fast as I possibly could. So I just told the driver to get me in a whip and I just started cutting out and then I was... <laughs> I was actually going pretty quick in the end, it just, uh, the driftwood just lost control and I jumped off and then just started barefooting. So I knew that I got up on it uh, the first time from the houseboat, I knew it was possible so deep water start was in order just to get back to the houseboat and it wasn't that, it was definitely not as easy as it sounded because the thing just wanted to go sideways and all over the place but um, after positioning it exactly right, popped straight up on it and uh, rode it straight back to the houseboat. We're having fun, yeah, such a good 
time sitting on the couch as we listen to the record rhyme. Doobie Brothers, listen to the music, cause I got the vibe.